you know, it was, it was a super kind of crazy match, to be honest. Um, if you notice, like the scores were all really kind of lopsided. And, you know, we did a good job again of coming out and playing a good doubles point. That was that was huge. Um, and then Parker just jumped on his player at two. He's had a great weekend. We beat two more ranked opponents. You know, I find that guy to be in the rankings here pretty soon in singles. Um, and then, you know, he led the way in doubles with Bjorn again. Um, you know, and that just that put us up. And we, we've been talking to the guys a lot about surging ahead and not playing from behind. And, you know, getting that doubles point is ultra crucial. And, you know, even though they had, you know, some easy wins, you know, in a couple of positions, we, we, you know, we bounced back and had our own and then just kind of gave Franco the opportunity to win it there at the end. You know, so, you know, typical match like that wouldn't last is quite, you know, but there was no three setters. So, yeah, it's, it's kind of crazy in that aspect. We preached to them and we challenged them a couple weeks back, knowing that we had three pretty top 20 matches in a row um, that it could go one way or the other. And, um, you know, this was a golden opportunity for us to kind of seize, the, you know, important part of our season and, and get some traction or, you know, and learn from what we, you know, had happened to us the week before. And um, the guys responded. You know, I said that if I could have had two out of three wins, I would have taken it right away. And we got that. You know, our only blemish is to the number three team in the country. So, you know, I'm super proud of the guys.